a World War II German submarine and an Allied freighter lying at the bottom of the sea, sunk more than 70 years ago off the coast of North Carolina. This is really America's only World War II battlefield on the East Coast. Few people outside coastal North Carolina remember the Battle of the Atlantic. A battle that serves as a reminder of just how close World War II came to the mainland. Weeks after the attack on Pearl Harbor, German U-boats began patrolling off the coast of North Carolina, sinking merchant ships and Allied vessels. 92-year-old Lewis Siegel was stationed off the East Coast during the war, and his ship's mission was to destroy German submarines. After D-Day, we were sailing up and down that coast looking for submarines because they were ripe all along the East Coast. Also, we did convoy escort taking, you know, we had be protect ships that were in convoys. We had about 50 ships in a convoy, be seven or eight of us destroyers. After the German submarine U-576 sank the freighter SS Bluefields, the US military escorts fought back, sinking the U-boat. The freighter was able to get all of its crew off before sinking, but that wasn't the case for the German ship. All of the hatches are still sealed and closed, so there was no time for the crew to try to get out, uh, which means that it is in essence not only an archaeological site, but a tomb and a grave site for the 45 men who were on board. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration first discovered the shipwrecks two years ago. Then, last month, a team of researchers got their first chance to explore the site, collecting data to virtually recreate the underwater battlefield. The site is about 35 miles due east of Ocracoke, North Carolina, and the two vessels lie in about 710 feet of water. Siegel was invited to join the expedition, his first time back in these waters since the war. I saw it and I said, well, that's one we didn't have to worry about. Both vessels have now been placed on the National Register of Historic Places.